May done. It's been a mega busy month with work. I didn't think I'd be able to get a video out. Honestly, the older you get, the months fly by. The stock market has been as volatile as ever. My current portfolio stands at $65,302.19. It's an increase of 5.62% from April's. The portfolio value continues to rise. You can see the progress here. It's finally good to break the 65k barrier. I had nine payments this month. As usual, I'll go for the quarterly ones first. First up is ABV, ticker symbol ABBV. The payment was for $13.95 from nine shares. This was paid on the 15th of May. Next payment is the 15th of August and the next cutoff is the 15th of July. ABV has provided substantial returns over the past 12 months, up 23.28%. That's 6.61% this year. The trailing 12 months compound annual growth rate has seen 4.73% with 12 years of consecutive increases. Analysts see more potential upside with a strong buy consensus and average 12-month price target of $185.73, which would see a further 12.43% upside. Next up is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. The payment was for $6.75 from 27 shares. The payment was made on the 18th of May. The next payment is the 15th of August, and the next cutoff is the 12th of August. Apple continues to provide solid returns, 8.8% over the last 12 months. The S&P has performed better at nearly double that though. The trailing 12 months compound annual growth rate is 4.18% with 12 years of consecutive increases. Analysts again see more potential upside with a target of $207.72. Next up is AT&T, ticker symbol T. The payment was for $13.32 from 48 shares. This was paid on the 1st of May. The next payment is the 1st of August and the ex-dividend cutoff is the 10th of July. Incredibly, AT&T has actually performed very well over the last 12 months. A total return of 27.4%. As a shareholder, it's good to see it's almost in reach of my average buy price of $19. In terms of dividend metrics, it's absolutely abysmal. It's one of my worst performing stocks. In the past, it has been difficult to argue a case to why you would actually buy any more of it. Analysts see a rosier future with a strong buy target of $21.25. It has a high price target of $29, which is frankly beyond optimistic. There will be a huge sell-off if it hit anywhere near that. Next up is Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG. The payment was for $11.07 from 11 shares. This was paid on the 15th of May. Next payment is the 15th of August and the exit cutoff is the 19th of July. Procter & Gamble continues to be a fantastic investment up 17.3% over the past 12 months, and that's 15.43% this year. The trailing 12 months has seen the CAGR of 7.02% and 68 years of dividend increases. Analysts continue to see the upside, but with less growth of 3.15%, which gives a price target of $171. Next up is Starbucks, ticker symbol SBUX. The dividend payment was for $11.40 from 20 shares. This was paid on the 26th of May. The next dividend payment is the 23rd of August and the exit cutoff is the 9th of August. Starbucks, in contrast, has had a terrible year with a total return of minus 15.11%. Dividend metrics continue to be good though, which goes to show stock prices go up and down but the dividends keep coming in. Analysts think the recent low was the bottom with a 12-month price target of $87.13. Next up is Verizon, ticker symbol VZ. The payment was for $3.32 from 5 shares. This was paid on the 1st of May. Next payment is the 1st of August and the exit cutoff is the 10th of July. Again, Verizon is usually in sync with AT&T and has performed much better over the past 12 months. Up 29.56%, actually outperforming the S&P 500. Dividend metrics show a mediocre return with minimal increases. And this C continued upside with a target of $44.62. Next, I will fly through my monthly payers. JP Morgan Equity Premium ETF, ticker symbol JEPI. The payment was for $15 from 46 shares. Next up, Main Street Capital Corporation, ticker symbol MAIN. The payment was for $24.48 from 102 shares. And finally, Realty Income, ticker symbol O. The payment was for $26.73 from 102 shares. This takes the total to $126.02 for the month. This is down 14.82% in 
from May 2023. This was down to selling Citigroup, which I reinvested into a Vanguard high yield ETF, which pays me in a different month. And JP Morgan paid me in April last year. So although it is a decrease for this month, it increases other months. So overall for the year, I'm still up. If we look at the yearly progress, I'm almost half of last year with my biggest payment still to come in June, September and December. I've been investing a lot into growth stocks with a low yield to try and balance out the portfolio. Next month being June, it's a big one for dividends. I have payments from Intel, Enbridge, Johnson & Johnson, Microsoft, Pfizer, 3M, Visa, both Vanguard ETFs, plus the monthly payers of course. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one.